Maybe next time that you want to dissolve a body, you will pay attention to this lab video. Aha! But it'll be too late. You will be under arrest and you wish you would have paid attention to this video. Today we're going to talk about reaction rates. Reaction rates are defined as the amount of chemical consumed in a certain time period. Some of the factors that affect reaction rates include concentration, temperature, and surface area. Now, I've brought along a little bit of this Nature Valley granola bar in order to illustrate the effects of difference in concentration. Now what happens if I put a little bit of this granola bar into the hydrochloric acid, which is at a very dilute concentration, versus if I put a little bit in to the hydrochloric acid at a very high concentration. Now remember, don't try this at home. Now, in a similar fashion to how concentration affects the dissolution rate, affects the rate, so too does temperature. You'll see that the granola on the left-hand side is being dissolved at a much, much faster rate than the one at the right. Okay, so so far we've seen how temperature and concentration affects our reaction rate, but how does surface area affect it? Imagine we have these two cubes. So this one has eight times the volume as this one. However, when we're talking about reaction rates, we're only worried about surface area, meaning that the chemical can only attack on the exposed sides. Now this block, if we say that each side is one unit, this block has six units available to it. Now let's think about this cube. This one will have, each side has four, but there are six sides. So this one has a total of 24 units of area. The ratio here is 6 to 1, but the ratio here is 3 to 1. That means that this cube will have much less area available for a chemical reaction, and therefore this, will, this cube will take twice as long to react as this cube. So, to make sure you understand, what should we do if we want to make sure that we can dissolve our body fairly quickly. Do we want to cut it up into pieces or do we want to leave it as a big whole unit? That's right. You want to snip it up into little pieces as small as possible to increase your surface area. And that's all for today's lab, folks. Just remember, concentration, temperature, and surface area all affect a chemical reaction. Now, can you imagine if periodic tables were scratch and sniff? I always wondered what holium smelled like. Pungent.